is an old Yiddish proverb, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it goes something like this. Menschen trach and dud lach. Translated loosely, people plan, God laughs. All the time you're thinking about what you're going to be doing and planning for the future, God is having a good laugh because he knows exactly what's going to happen. If I've learned anything at all in the 25 years that I've been around, it's the truth and wisdom of that proverb. The planning that went into my bar mitzvah was just unbelievable. It all began about two years before the actual date. My parents went around checking out every catering hall in South Florida. They heard that the halls had to be reserved that far in advance, otherwise you could get locked out. They auditioned in entertainment, we looked at dozens of invitations, talked to people who decorate the room, people who design other bar mitzvah stuff, and for what? Our place could accommodate 150 people legally and comfortably, and about 200 people illegally and uncomfortably. Oh, just kidding. So how many people did you say you have? About 200 adults and probably about 50 kids. So we're fine. What do you mean? Uh, come on, not everyone's going to show up. Trust me. Of course, these numbers may change. We're two years away and we don't know exactly. I understand, Mrs. Stiff. We go through this all the time. I'm... It's stiff. I'm sorry, Mrs. Stiff. Now, what is the cost per person for this marvelous mitzvah package? Oh, that happens to be our most popular package. It's $175 per adult and $75 per child, with a minimum of 100 adults and 25 children. Um, where is that? Is the cocktail hour included? No, I mean, the cocktail hour, it's an additional $25 per adult, $15 per child, and they have 25% to all the pricing to the cocktail hour for our mitzvah room, which is separate from our main room. Do these prices include dessert? They do. But you don't want those. I mean, assorted cookies for adults, cupcakes for the kids. I'd go $5 extra for the kids. Look what you get, a make-your-own-Sunday buffet. $10 extra for an adult for a Viennese table. And we also have a chocolate fondue service served with a chocolate fountain. I mean, it's really fabulous. I mean, that's, that's another $15 per person. 15 per adult? And 15 per child. And there's no difference on the fabulous fountain package. Oh, that fountain must be really fabulous. So, so, what do you think? Well, we do love the place, but everything sounds somewhat pricey. Pricey? I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I, I didn't even get into some of the other charges. Like what? Like adding 20% to the bottom line, you know, for gratuities. Is that it? No, not really. I mean, if you want security, which I do recommend, just to make sure the kids, you know, don't leave premises on their own, I mean, that's an extra charge. And valet service is free for your guests. But if you think they did a good job, we expect you to take care of them. There are also taxes, of course. And there are a few things that I'm... There are some fees I'm leaving out. J j just give me a minute. Uh, I don't think so. Listen, quite honestly, I know this is kind of pricey. I tell the owner that all the time. But if you find a better deal somewhere else, I mean, just for the place, of course, let me know. Why? Because I do catering, party planning, MC, and DJing on the side. Shalom! Welcome to Catering by Malka. Call this our mozi room because this is where we do our ritual cutting of the bread. By the way, we bake all of our own challah on the premises. Very special. Just a hint of garlic and rosemary. If you do the party here, you get the recipe. For an additional charge, your guests will have access to this room throughout the whole evening. They can do stretching, yoga, tai chi. Sometimes you just have to work off that extra piece of gefilte fish right there and then. <laughs> I'm wondering... Excuse me! The way I like to do things is I give the presentation first and then I take questions at the end, okay? Your guests will be owning and eyeing their way to the open bar. Speaking of which, why don't we walk next door and see what we affectionately call the living room.
this is where your guests will spend the most memorable evening. We do our entrees with the Yiddish cup creativity and Goyasha style BAM! Just imagine the look on the faces of your guests when you serve them our signature vegetable stir-fry with goat cheese, dry tomato, and kishka. Is that an entree or an appetizer? Remember, we have to hold the questions until the end. The jams are made from scratch. Uh, what about the Vietnamese table? I'm almost done. No more interruptions. I'm sorry, I, I forgot. Oh. Okay, I'll make an exception. Do you have any questions right now? No, I think we've heard enough. I just want to use the restroom before we leave. Oh, please do. And tell me if you like the potpourri we used to freshen it up. It's homemade from fresh herbs and daled kasha varnishka. Potpourri, my ass. This is our amazing Marlins room. We do a fabulous fisherman's bar mitzvah here. You know, rods, reels at all the tables, even live bait, which we use as a sushi appetizer. Here's Salvadore, the taste of Sicily. Old world menu, contemporary pricing. I have a good feeling about this place, Mac. I have a feeling too, Olga. It's a feeling of severe pain, and it's coming right from my wallet area. Can I help us? We're here to see Sal. He'll know you're coming. You got an appointment? Who, who wants to know? Olga and Max Stiff. Well, we called earlier today and we talked about having a bar mitzvah here. What's your name again? Max and Olga Stiff. That's S T Y P H. Been stiff long? What? You know, if you're stiff more than four hours, you need to call the doctor. Did you get that much? No, not really. Stiff. Oh yeah, over here. Follow me. What was that? What? That noise. It sounded like it came from in there. It almost sounded like someone screaming or something. Come on. Mr. Calzone? Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome mm. to Villa Salvatore. Do me a favor. Call me Sal, all right? This is my wife, Olga. Olga, nice to meet you. Please, have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. Frankie, do me a favor. Before I get started over here, what's the word on my friend, Mr. K? Don is outside waiting for him. He should be calling him anytime soon. All right, do me a favor. As soon as he knows something, he's going to let me know, right? Right away. You got it. You got it. So. Are you uh, Max uh, Stiff from the Frozen Food Company? Yes. So you, you haven't even started the whole thing, right? Yes. From Stiff Frozen Foods? Yes. Yeah, I'm really glad to meet you. Now, we use a lot of your products over here when we run out of stuff. Really? Yeah, like, uh, you know, sometimes we use the ravioli, something like that, if we're running low. It's good, right? Yeah, it's, you know, in a pinch it's all right. It needs some basil, but, you know, in a pinch. I'm flattered that my products should be used at a place like this. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, <laughs> can I tell you, the price is right. Well, we're not the least expensive yeah, guys. Yeah, I know. Yes, you are. Really? You have a partner, uh, uh, Grossman. Yes, Murray Grossman. Yeah, yeah, Murray Grossman. You know, he's been losing pretty big at the track. He never discussed that with me. He's into me for a bumble, but whatever. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like when he can't make a payment. What does he do? He sends me a truck full of, of, of escrow. Yeah. And what if I don't want anything, I just ship it off to my friends. Because I'd have some friends around the town that they own restaurants and clubs. How much is he into you for? Forget about it. I mean, has he borrowed? Hey, uh, do you know what that means? What? It means forget about it. How do you like the place, huh? It's uh, very spacious. Now, I have all these menus and, and, and plans and prices and everything else. But you know what? What? Forget about it. You're going to get the most special menu. Why? <laughs> Because you're special people. It's my honor to special favor for the occasion of your son's party. Uh, Mr. Calzone, we haven't even decided. Listen, you wait right here. I'm going to get the menu we use for my own daughter's wedding. That's going to be my gift to you.
Max, I must say that these menu selections look pretty good. We have to get out of here, Olga. Let's leave. Too late. Our friend's coming up the driveway. Yeah, make sure he gets the full treatment. Gavish? Gavish. All the way. You got it. Go ahead, Max. Walk, walk around, check out the space. But while you're doing that, listen to this. First is the cocktail hour, all right? Waiters walk around with little Italian meatballs, not that Swedish shit. I like the kosher franks in a blanket. Yeah, yeah, and for the sit-down. <laughs> not to be confused with the real sit-down, you know what I'm talking about? We're going to start off with three appetizers. Mozzarella balls and uh, tomato wedges. Melon and prosciutto. And, of course, the capuzzella. What's capuzzella? Lamb's head. Now the entrees. Sirloin Milanese, that's a steak and a zesty brown sauce with garlic. We have a chicken saltambuca, that's chicken smothered in mozzarella, prosciutto, artichokes on a bed of spinach leaves. All right? And then there's three cheese managotti. This is going to be some bar mitzvah, I forget about it. Sounds really different, don't you think, Max? So this is right, so we're going to have, we're going to have Italian cheesecake, amaretto gelato, fresh fruit with provolone, and for the kid, that's for the adults. Now, for the kids, we're gonna have hamburgers, hot dogs, and uh, some pizza and ice cream for dessert. Sounds wonderful. How many people do you think you're gonna be having? Right now, we're planning on about 200 adults and about 50 kids. Yeah, right, of course, right. that's subject to. All right, look, all right, all right, all right. Look, look, look. Here's the price. All right. You're not gonna beat that. Max, come look at this. That's a very good price. Good. It's frickin' wholesale, for Christ's sakes. It's a very good price. I told you, Max. It'll be my honor to have your son's party here. I'm gonna do the right thing by you. Uh, what was that? I heard it too. What, I didn't hear anything. It sounded like um, a, a scream. A scream? <laughs> I'd better go check in the kitchen and maybe the chef boffing the assistant again, you know? Oh. Hey, you have a card, Max. I want to make a contract and have you sign it. Yeah, but tomorrow's Saturday. I won't be in the office. Oh, so write down your home address and I'll send it to you over there. You're in Coconut Creek. That's okay, Sal. You can send it to the office on Monday. Don't worry about a thing. My brother Joe is going to be in Coconut Creek tomorrow. He can run the uh, contract right over to your place, you know? And uh, besides that, I want to know where you live, right, Maxie? Here you go, Sal. Thanks. Hey, listen. You guys drive home safely, okay? <laughs> Max? Max, honey, are you okay? Olga, what did we do? Ah. Uh. You asked me to turn and face the wall. Olga, Olga, what did we do last night? Oh, Max, occasionally in married life, couples experiment. I'm not talking about that, Olga. Oh, what are you talking about? Villa Salvadore. What about it, Max? Olga, I don't want a taste of Sicily. Oh, stop it, Max. How could we do this? What do you mean, we? You're the one who asked him to send us a contract. Sicily leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It was his honor, so I had to accept. He didn't have to accept. Trust me, I had to accept. It's not so terrible. The place is great. The price is more than fair, and the menu is terrific. Can I get in there, please? But who serves chicken salt on boca at a bar mitzvah? Oh, stop it, man. And lamb said, Olga, lamb said. I mean, I wouldn't. Mind something a little bit out of the way, like sweetbreads, but lamb's head? Max, we need a plumber! Who 
I can afford a plumber with what I'm paying for this affair. It's going to be a wonderful affair, different than anyone else's. Oh, it'll be different, all right. I wouldn't be surprised if guests start disappearing. What are you talking about, Max? Do you want breakfast? Oh, but come back in the bedroom. We've got too much to do. I'm not talking about that. Just for a minute. Olga, there's something I didn't tell you. Last night, when Sal was reading the menu, I was looking out the window, and something happened I wasn't supposed to see. What happened? There was that guy Frank and two of Frankie's buddies were talking to this fourth guy. Yeah, so? Well, they wind up getting this guy into the car and driving away. That's it? That's what's been bothering you all night? He didn't look like he wanted to go, Olga. Please, Max. There are so many explanations. Why are you so worried? I was a witness to something I wasn't supposed to see, Olga. And the whole idea of being indebted to Sal for a favor? So you do him a favor. What's the big deal? What if he asked me to do something illegal? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I could be under the bridge by then. Listen, we're going to get up, we're going to have a nice breakfast, and at noon, we're going to drop the kids at Lila's. Hopefully, she won't be meditating, and she'll answer the door. I could be a perpetual part of the Turnpike Extension. We're going to drop the kids off at your sister's, then audition entertainment for the bar mitzvah. Do you really think I'll be around by then? You'll be around. Now, can we get up and attack the day? Don't use the word attack, Olga. I just remembered. Wasn't someone coming to our house with a contract? Don't worry. I gave Sal Lila's address. Yes? Hello, are you Mrs. Stiff? Olga Stiff? No, that's my sister-in-law. I'm Miss Stiff. Ah, well, I guess that made you single then, right? Who are you? Oh, I'm Joey Calzone. I'm Sal's brother from Village Salvador. He sent me over here with a contract for Max and Olga to sign. Oh, you know what? They just left. They're auditioning entertainment, looking at invitations, that sort of stuff. Do you want me to take that? Uh, well, I was really supposed to bring it back signed. Well, do you want to come in? They should be home soon. Are you psychic? Yeah. How did you know? Because I was just hoping you would invite me in. Come on in. Right, right. It's going the wrong way. Enough. I see, I see. All right. Don't you understand? You're supposed to follow the right. arrows and do right. it. Okay, we'll park here.
take it. Yeah, I'm allergic to drugs. So oh. I have to shake it. Shake it. I don't get it. Try. Don't get it. Try. Oh, bad. Oh, oh, see? Oh, 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 oh
Make sure you get the right book. Oh, I will. You know, this is my son's phone store, and I really want something spectacular. My husband doesn't need to know anything about this. Whatever price you quote me, take off 50% and I'll pay you in cash. Just show us the good stuff. Okay, then I'll have to get another book. That's it, thank you. Hey, Olga, you should see this kitchen. What is that, Corian? It's beautiful! Okay, this book is going to make us all very happy. What you want to do? I think we should go with Vila Salvadori. You know that's not what I wanted. But what law says you have to serve matzo ball soup? I love matzo ball soup. It's a great place, and he's giving us a great menu. True. But on the other hand, it's sell, and I didn't want to get involved with him. It's a great price. And we're already involved with him, thanks to your sister. Well, she had to just start dating the Zell's brother. From what she tells me, she really likes him. Call him first thing in the morning and tell him it's a go. Oh, uh, thanks, Max. I really do think it's the best choice. Good night, Olga. What I want to know is... What could she possibly see in that guy? He's, He's not a well type. type. Yeah, I, I give, give it two weeks. weeks. I have no idea why I'm so attracted to you. I don't even know anything about you. Maybe that's why you're so attracted to me. But I would like to know about you. What do you want to know? Well, you, you could start by telling me something about your family. Okay, let's see. Uh, my grandparents came over from the old country. Uh-huh. 
see your... What? <laughs> no. They came over on a boat from Sicily. Grandpa Vincenzo told me the story again and again about how bad the boat was, how terrible the food was, and how the other passengers bullied him. When he finally saw the Statue of Liberty, he cried out loud. Ah, oh, the symbol of freedom. Well, yes, and also because then he found out his luggage had been stolen. What? <laughs> you know what? I would love to tell you more, but guess what? You got things to take care of. You know it. You're like a doctor on call. Your cell rings and you gotta take care of things. That's it. Tingling. I got things. They have a gazillion different knitted key types. Bulgarian style, Romanian style, Amsterdam style, and Israeli army style. How about dollar store style? Max, this is our son's bar mitzvah. We have to do everything right. Is our son even going to be ready to be bar mitzvah? Every time I go to the temple, the rabbi tells me he's not reading him up at home. He'll be ready. He's going to tutoring three times a week. And believe me, if that rabbi could become a rabbi, our son could become a bar mitzvah. I prefer the pronunciation to be taught, as in Torah, Lorah, Lorah, Baruch, Atah. Another thing you need to think about is your mitzvah plan. This notice here describes the requirement of a mitzvah project before one can be bar mitzvahed in this temple. I need a list of all the friends that you want to invite. Okay. And at some point, we're going to have to sit down and write some poems for the candle lighting ceremony. I can do that. It's almost bedtime. And remember, it's school night. Okay. The day before my bar mitzvah, South Florida was hit by one of the biggest storms in years. Power was knocked out, traffic lights were down, the airport was closed. Every window in the house told the story. The streets were getting flooded, and no one, not even the police, were on the road. The phone was ringing off the hook. People calling to cancel left and right because they didn't think they would be able to get there. As it turned out, there were another couple of dozen guests who didn't even bother to call and didn't wind up showing up. I just looked out the window in disbelief, getting more and more depressed. The next day, it was so sunny in the sunshine state that you'd never even know what happened the day before, except for the cleanup. The storm wound up costing us about 5k in no-shows for dinner at the bar mitzvah, and another 5 or 6k in damage to the house. Dad never complained about any of it, but you could tell he was really pissed. He just told me how all eyes would be on me later that day and how much he wished me a bright future. Dad! I need help. I need help you to tie my tie. I'll be right there. Today's the big day. Yep. Uh, you think you can put that on pause for a second? Tell you something. Yeah. Your mother and I, we are so proud of you. Thanks. Um. How do I look? Like a man. 
Thanks. Face it the other way. Oh, Rabbi, I didn't know you were here. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Did you get some lights up for you? Oh, hello, Rabbi. Oh, that's Olga, Rabbi. Yes, Olga, of course. Tell me something. Is, is it still Shabbos? Rabbi, the Havdalah service for my son Scott is supposed to start in 20 minutes. Oh, yes, of, yeah, of course. Um, could you get me some coffee, Olga? Excuse me, Rabbi. Are you okay to do the service? Oh, for heaven's sakes, no. I got carried away at the Silverman's party this morning. They had a very special kiddish after the service, open bar and everything. Then they had the most fabulous reception in the afternoon, another open bar, and the entertainment was, whew, what? Excuse me, Rabbi, what about the Havdalah service? Oh, no problem, no problem. A colleague of mine is going to do it for you. Oh, okay. It's Rabbi Alejandro from the temple Quechifeto or something in Little Havana. I believe I told him five o'clock. You believe you told him five o'clock? What do you mean you believe you told him five o'clock? Max? Yes, my Spanish is not what it used to be. How do you say five o'clock in Spanish again? At Cinco Horse? Max, we have to talk. Frank, who put those with the other ones, okay? Let's talk outside. Max! The rabbi is drunk! So what else is new? Okay. Olga, this is Caesar. No, Mrs. Stife. It's stiff. This is Caesar, the videographer. I am Cesar. Excuse me. This is Cesar, the videographer. Actually, I am the videographer. Max, what about the still photography? That will be little, Cesar. He's coming. He's going to be a little late. Late? Don't worry, I can do both. How are you going to do that? This baby does it all. What is that? It's a Vigeur Super 8. Circa 1969. You're kidding, right? Hey, don't read the book. Just wait for the movie. I'm surprised you can still get filmed for that. I have my sources. What about the still photography? We paid for the gold package. This baby does it all. Gold, copper, thin, whatever. You're going to take stills with that too? It has a little button here. It was designed to do the frame-by-frame -frame animation, but you can use it to take stills. Max, that doesn't sound at all right to me. There's nothing we can do about it now, Olga. Don't even give it a second thought. I'm going to go set up. I need you in there in a couple of minutes. If those pictures don't come out, we ain't paying him. What was that gold package anyway? Four thousand? Forget about the money, Max. We won't have any memories. He can keep the memories. I'll take the four grand. What? And what do you want to talk about anyway? Max, the rabbi is bombed. He got a replacement. So what else is new? There's nothing we can do about it now. Rabbi Alejandro from Little Havana. Look, Joe and Lila are here. Hey, guys. Big day to death, huh? How you was it doing? You know, it's just one thing after another. Where's Lila? 
Let's find a place to sit down. I've got to tell you something. Is, is everything okay? Is, is Lila all right? Let's just find a place to sit, okay? What are you talking about, Joe? Why is it Lila here? Where is she? She's coming. She'll be here. She's at the new place, setting up for the party. Vila Salvadori? What is she doing there? No. Look, she's not at Villa Salvadori. Villa Salvadori is closed. The feds raided it this morning. What do you mean closed? We're gonna have a party there in a couple of hours. I mean there's yellow tape around the whole building. Police line, do not cross. What? How? I, I don't understand. Look, they were doing things that they shouldn't have been doing. It's a restaurant and catering hall. What things? Things? I can't talk about it. Over 200 people coming! Where are all the people gonna go after the service? As a courtesy to you, and a favor to me, Sal made arrangements with a buddy of his who owns a place. We're gonna move your party there. We're gonna move your party to Cookies. You just make an announcement at the end of the service, telling everybody where the reception is gonna be. Lila's already called that trolley company you ordered for the kids. Instead of picking the kids up here and taking them to Villa Salvatore, they're gonna pick them up and take them to Cookies. That's the name of the place? Cookies? Where is it? I've never heard of it. No, that's not the name of the place. Cookies is the name of the guy who owns it. And they have food there for everybody? And what about the decorations? And what about the DJ with all the CDs that we selected to play? Lila already called the DJ. DJ Mike, right? He's gonna be there in a couple of minutes to start setting up. Don't worry about it. And the music you selected, he's gonna have that. Don't worry about that. I got a bunch of cards here from the place. You can hand them out to the guests, so they know where the reception's gonna be. There's a map on the back. Well, we're looking for an outlet. I don't think this guy's gonna help us out. This guy. Let me see an outlet. I think there's a plug. Yeah. Show you how many for the plug? That will work. Just hope it wasn't. What? Oh, it was. What? No. no. The eternal light. What? What is that? Jesus Christ! Oh. Oh no. We are so sorry. Of course, Cesar Photography and the Videography will reimburse you for the cost of another one. What do you mean, man? Well, if you're caught not connected with any of our pictures, you may have a spare eternal light in the air. What you kidding, Rabbi? There's a spare eternal light? Yes, a spare eternal light. What's the matter is, uh, 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 what's and the decorations and the entertainment. Don't worry about it. They got food. Cookie's got some people working on the decorations. You're just gonna have to change the theme a little, that's all. What do you mean change the theme? You you didn't decorate it in the car theme? No, more like a Vegas style. A Vegas theme? Yeah, Vegas. Nightlife. Strippers. Let's do it,
愁死了。你儿子，坐吧。二七，二七七。Oh, you see? Okay, okay. Now I know this is a joke. Okay, this is a joke. No. What does the card say, Max? Body shop, two thousand. What the hell is that? It's a strip joint. Oh. Now please, be careful while you're screwing it in. Always. Uh, the rabbi wants to talk to us all? Hey, Jeff. Tell him we'll be right in. Hi, right, Scott. Hey, Scott. Yeah. I want you to call me Uncle Joe from now on, okay? Why? Don't ask any questions. Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. Okay? Okay. I gotta get going, okay? Joe, you're not going for the ceremony? Yeah, I'm sorry, Scotty. But here, wait a minute. Uh, you have a happy Bob Mitzvah. And many more, okay? Thanks, Joe. Uncle Joe. So we're gonna see you at the party. I'm gonna try. But I got some things, you know? I'm sure you got some things. If I don't make it back in time, you enjoy your day. Body shop 2000. Where's the rabbi? Uh, uh, I don't know the camera guy. Is it me or is there something in this suit? Oh, the light, yeah! I wonder what happened to it. What happened to the eternal light? What is happening to this car mitzvah? Now, talk to get your knickers in a twist, all Glenn. We'll be putting up a spiral. Razors in the back, get in the ladder, and we'll have it up in no time. Actually, the rabbi who's conducted the ceremony is here, and I'd like for you to meet him. Rabbi Alejandro. Uh, How's your Spanish? Alejandro! Mm -hmm. Soy Hugo Cesar, de la compañía de video y fotografía, Hey Cesar. Ah, claro. Trabajamos juntos y vivimos en el mundo. Sí, sí, es increíble. Ah, tal vez sí que no hace por el partido de la luz. Pasar a ver, porque yo vivo en la que por fin. Está muy bien, muy bien.
Rivera, he was talking in his cell phone with somebody in Colombia ordering five more kilos of I don't know what. Uh, well, this not jump to any conclusions, okay? He could have been ordered matzo meal or something. And that's their second most popular export I've heard. Uh, uh, are we just about ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's go.
with everybody coming here already, Olga? Yes? Is there a ladies' room? I need to change. Uh, there's a couple of strippers in there, but, but follow me. We have some private rooms. By the way, I'm going to make some modifications on the party. They were most remote from bars in this place. They charge by the train. We'll just make it a cash bar. Oh, great. Hey, maybe we'll save a few bucks. <laughs> You're gonna save a couple of bucks on DJ Mike. You got car jack, you can't work. What? You said DJ Mike. I can't believe this. What are we going to do for music? I got a blue box in my car. I'm sure I got all the sand out of it. Where am I supposed to change? Right in here. There's no lock. There's no door. No DJ, no music, no door. Look, Olga, you go inside and change and I'll guard the uh, curtain. Ask your wife to keep her clothes on. What? I'll never repeat what management told me. 
listening. About two minutes, I'm going to gather everybody together to the mozi. Did you bring the challah? I don't have a challah. I'll see what I can do. Oh I'm so humiliated. Why? What happened? I was getting dressed and I was stark naked. And some strange man and strange woman opened up the curtain. Now I understand. What? Never mind. Joel asked me if we had a collar for the mozi. I didn't bring one. Don't you think I have enough on my mind today? They were supposed to have one here. They were supposed to have one here? Well, they were supposed to have one in Villa Salvadori. Now what are we going to do? Don't worry about it. Joel said he'd take care of everything. speak much English. <laughs> she doesn't have to. <laughs> oh yeah, I caught her at when I first came in. She was doing something with a uh, boa, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great party, Maxie. I've been to a few bar mitzvahs in the last couple of years, but this one by far is the best one yet. Really? Oh yeah. This one blows them all away. Okay, Pop. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Tim. I was talking to him. Yeah, you know, a couple of the kids went over to their parents and asked them if they could have a bomb for like this. Well, you know, Olga gets all the credit, you know. Uh, not really for this. Mm. I mean, she played the car theme. Car theme? I've been to a car theme bomb before. A car theme blows. Oh, um, yes, yes. No, 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 I was talking to him. He's... She tried to plan the most perfect party, but that's not what does it for me. Family, friends, that's what does it for me. I need a little more than that to do it for me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, here comes Hal Caesar with the camera. You want to say something to the camera? Yeah, sure. Come on over here. Just shoot me from here up. Scott, your father has been my lifelong friend and trusted business partner. I've always been 100% honest with you. And I gotta tell you, no bull. This is the best bar mitzvah I've ever been to. It blows away any other one I've ever Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm talking to the camera! Scott, just gonna let you know, you did great. We'll have a fabulous time. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, that is. Congratulations, and good luck to your future. Hope everything goes out for you. All I can say is I've seen the picture, I've seen the pleasure speaking to you, and I have a feeling you're a pleasant person to talk to.
so I'm so happy to be here. I'm so proud of you. I really am. A few years ago, when he turned 11, this ring set, he was going to hide. Happy Violet's Day. Yes. Okay, um, let's go. You tell me. You're doing good. You're in trouble. Please don't get drunk today. Oh, I love you, Dora. 
was so bright. You know why you should pop up? Now you pop up anymore. You keep on up. You can scare it so So the people, let's hear it for Bobby. I should like to count number four. Wonderful day today, Scott. I gave you a nice present, a lot of money, but I want you to listen to me. It mustn't go up your notes. Understand? Little did I know, she wound up showing me the ropes. She has the face of an angel, and her body is heaven. So Linda, please come up and like candle number seven. No, stop. Call Grandpa Harold, who is in here. Now, will Grandpa Harold please come up? I need to run out and buy some horror music. Keep stalling. If I can get a CD, we'll do the horror when I come back. Grandpa Harold can't make it due to the weather. The next cherished tradition is, of course, the, um, um, the mix for football toss. I, I think the traditional mix for football is in my trunk. J j just give me a minute. Hey pal, now you don't understand. If I don't come back with a horn, my wife's gonna kill me. Let me call you back. Are you some kind of nut? What are you, a pervert? What are you talking about? A horn? It's music. It's a dance. Oh, hold on. I got something for you. How's that? Wonderful. Thank you. Goodbye. Anyone for a horror? Ladies, I said horror. It's a traditional dance.
tried to make the greatest bar mitzvah ever. How nothing at all went as planned. Nearly two years in advance of the event, and after months of searching, my parents finally settled on a restaurant they thought would be good enough for our guests. Yet by a cruel twist of fate, and through no fault of their own, we wound up celebrating my bar mitzvah in a sleazy strip club. It took dad being knocked half unconscious for both him and my mother to fully appreciate the full meaning of mitzvah. And that meaning has nothing to do with making the perfect party. People plan, God laughs. And they now understand and fully appreciate that it's a mitzvah you can plan anything at all and have everything go as planned. For starters, it's a mitzvah to be healthy and upright. And that's something you should never take for granted. I'm older and wiser now. Well, older for sure. That Yiddish phrase just keeps coming back to me. Menschen trach and gut lach. People plan, God laughs. Thinking about that now, you really know and understand that it truly is a mitzvah. Every time that you plan anything. And things happen just the way that you plan. <laughs> oh yeah, get that shot. <laughs> Here's a good shot for you. <laughs> All right. Ready? I knew it! I 
do it.